Alright, I think it's time I interfere with the natural order of things once again, for I have been summoned. Imagine working a 17 hour shift only for you to come home with your wife greeting you at the door with the kids, you give them all a nice double straight to the hook combo if you know what I mean. You boot up your favorite game cause all you wanna do is de-stress from all of that workload. And you get greeted by this. For every kill you get, I'll give you an ooh <laughs> Alright, bet. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Aw, <laughs> you're adorable. <laughs> oh my god, that is so adorable. Oh, at least. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, you deserve it. <laughs> So the other night something of the sorts happened to me, and I must say, it's the reason I got my fucking bungalow or whatever the fuck this is called. I got it just to soothe my pain after having to experience all of that suffering. Anyways, that got me thinking about e-dating and what it represents in the 21st century. We are living in a new era, ladies and gentlemen. People are not getting to know each other via bars, clubs, uh, coffee shops, you know. Even Tinder is getting old, to be honest. Not even Tinder, just like Hinge, all of the online dating apps. Why would I use Tinder when I have fucking Valorant to rely on to get my daily dose of oomoos? Oh god, that... no. Don't ever do that again. So I did a bit of research concerning the e-dating space. And uh, what I found out is a bunch of similar-minded people and a bunch of insults. Every kill you get, I'll give you an ara ara. <laughs> Alright, bet. Ara ara. Oh my god. <laughs> ara ara. <laughs> You're distracting me. <laughs> You're actually trolling. For every kill you get, I'll meow for you. <laughs> Alright, bet. You better try hard. <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, who the fuck talks like that? Actually, send me the address of this. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, well, you got this. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way. Follow us for more. <laughs> for every kill you get, I'll meow for you. <laughs> Alright, bet. You better try hard. So the Urban Dictionary actually states that e-dating can be either a relationship that develops online with no face-to-face -face element and or no plans for ever meeting up in the real world or consummating the relationship physically with intercourse. Or two, using online sites and services to find someone to e-date whom you have no intention of ever meeting in real life. Now, that's a problem I personally have with e-dating. Like, if you're not gonna meet, I know this is kind of a kid's thing to do, but I know guys who are like 25, my fucking generation doing this shit, and some were kind of questionable. Why even waste your time if you're not gonna ever meet this person? Like, I get that you're getting the feeling of attention. Like, uh, yeah, f fuck yeah, I got myself a knee girl. Woohoo. Shut the fuck up, bro. Just go to a bar. You're fucking 25, man. Just go to a bar. Like, even with fucking Tinder, you know, you get your swipes in. Oh, yeah. Be matched. We go get a hookup. No relationship's gonna come out of it, but you hooked up, you got something out of it, you know? But with an e-relationship, you're not gonna get anything out of it. You're just gonna waste your potential, let's just put it that way. You're not gonna get any younger these days, you gotta, you know... Reddit is the home of the intellectuals. When you finally meet your Discord girlfriend, Ah, I see you're a man as well. <laughs> Discord e-dating starter pack. Trauma dumping. Enter enter the relationship way too quickly. Catfishing. I can, yeah, I, I can watch for that one. Nitro for Christmas and birthday. 
that's kind of sad, honestly. If you get Nitro for your birthday, go fucking jump off a building, bro. You deserve, like, socks. Socks are fucking better. Or fucking underpants. Power Rangers underpants are better than getting Nitro for Christmas. Or for your birthday. Stale E-Sex. <laughs> the only good thing about E-Sex is you don't have to shower. And that's not me speaking. That, that adds the insult speaking. Why do people make fun of e taters on Valorant? I'm currently single, but I was in a long-term relationship with a girl that I met from Val. She was very sweet and we decided to have matching usernames. If you have matching usernames, I'm gonna hate you regardless if you're the Pope of the fucking Vatican or a Hooters worker, bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm pretty confused, why do e taters have a such low rap on Valorant when they never really do anything harmful to others? Is it just jealousy? His sage on her jet makes me want to throw up. It's a game, not a dating app. And this person says, It is a game, but you get to meet many people in this game. No wonder love wins. How exactly does love win? You never intend to meet this person. You never actually experienced physical touch. You don't have to be a part of the degenerates, you know? You can be a Sigma male. Question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. Go the left way instead of the right way. Um, uh, stand beside, stand behind me, I will protect you. Stand next to me, I will defend you. Standing. Yeah, you're there, I'm over here. That's fucking great. Let's moan into our microphones. That's my idea of a typical Sunday night. Nah, man. Nah, man. Just You, you just gotta get your life together, you know? My friend went down this dark path twice in his life, which is why it was our duty as the lads to bully the fuck out of him to help save him. That's that's a that, that's that's a definition of a good friend right there. This guy I would like to have as my friend. In my opinion, it's dumb not to date somebody because it's inconvenient for you to see them. Lamau. If you end up loving someone, you love them. Not having a convenient way to see them IRL shouldn't change that. But we have another Sigma opposing that view, saying, Yes it does, you literally don't know who they are until you actually meet in real life. It's so easy to fake through the internet. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting to my main point right now. There's something I've been hiding from you guys. I'm not actually a man. I am. I'm gay. <laughs> Oh, how are you gonna help me out? Thank you for offering. Valentine's Day, head over to eat and find your dream too. Uh, I'm kind of feeling like this is an ad for something that you want me to buy, but yes, continue. It's not like I have hobbies to spend my money on. Our species is going down under, man. We as humans have failed. I want you to take off your headset, look behind you. I am sorry, I have failed you. Eat dating prices. Sleep cow, 10 minutes, $19.99. For 10 plus hours, you're gonna be paying $300. Thanks for listening to my short rants here. There's a lot to unpack. Trust me, there's a lot. I am sorry, I have failed you.